Hiker Jay here. Today we're going to be talking about water, agua. Every trip needs one. And I'm going to talk about the different setups that I have for water in my Jeep when I'm overlanding. I've got two different setups. One is just an onboard water storage system. The other one is a pressurized system, which I'm pretty excited about that not many people use or know, but I think it's a great option. So didn't matter which way I pushed it or put it, it just kept pumping it out, which is pretty awesome. If this is the first time to my channel, thanks for coming by. If you could hit subscribe, that would be awesome. I put out new videos every week on outdoor gear and such. And as always, all the products that I'll be talking about will be down in the description down below. Links to them will be down there for my Amazon affiliate. Now, let's talk about my water systems. So when talking about water on an onboard Jeep or any type of overland kit, uh, it's pretty essential and pretty important. So you want a good quantity of water. And when I was thinking about it, like I, when I was building my outdoor kitchen, if you watched that video, I was talking a little bit about this. If you haven't, you can see it up here on the right. Um, pretty cool, absolutely loved building this whole kitchen out, a lot of fun. But water was one that I was really thinking about, what am I gonna do about it? So I went with a simple container at first, which we'll talk about, but then when I went to Outdoor Retailer Expo, I ran into Gary from Aquamira, and they have an awesome system for pressurized water. Uh, for like a Camelback system, so it can go up to three liters. So first we're gonna talk about just the onboard storage system, and then I'll talk about the pressurized system. So let's check it out. First off, let's talk about my Rotopaxi water storage. Uh, I like it because it's square, it's not round and big boxy, and it's very thin. It's only two gallons, there's more that obviously you get a five gallon, but me having the bladder system too as a pressurized system, it's working okay. So basically what I did was I had the cooler here, so I just strap it to the side of the cooler. Let me unstrap it. I hook it that way, and I'm able to just kind of lean it down and turn it on and use it as I want to, or I can pull it, fully pull it out just like this too. Now, if you've never heard of Rotopaxi, super cool. The way that they are, they're built for like gas cans and water cans and different different fluids that you can have on the outside of your vehicle. Uh, they're really rugged, super, super thick. They're not gonna burst or pop, but they have these chucks that go in here and then twist, and then you're able to hook them on to, you know, Jeep tires. Uh, there's one that hold, works onto a back of a roll bar, which I think I'll end up getting. That'll be really cool because it'll just sort of clip up there and I can tilt it down this way and then get water out of it as needed. Or I could also put it outside the vehicle too. So that's super cool. So at first I just wanted to use this as my water source and be able to just get water out of it, fill, fill a jug or fill, wash dishes with it, that type of thing. But Rotopaxi doesn't come with an on off valve. So I did get this on off valve, like an aftermarket company like totally makes it, like Rotopaxi doesn't make it. I'll definitely have the link down in the description down below. You can get this on Amazon which is kind of cool. But it's an on-off pipe valve, you know, that actually just goes back and forth and lets you actually run your water through it like so. So um, that's pretty nice having a water source that I can turn on and off. So that was how I started. But two gallons can run out kind of quick, but um, I found it to be okay for a day or two. Um, we're always stopping somewhere where we can get water and it's so easily accessible where I keep this Rotopaxi that I can pull it out fill it up at any time. I can pull it out, sit it on a picnic table, people can get water from it. This was like a really good solution for having water storage uh, when I'm out and about. Um, now it's only two gallons, I get that. You can get five gallons, but it takes up so much room. So I just started with this one knowing that I could repurpose it in so many different ways if I found a different system. And I did find a different system, but it's sort of like a partner system. It's a system that I use together, and that is a pressurized bladder system. So let's go check that out. I keep that actually behind this, and you can get it to it to the back of the door or from this way, but let's go check it out. So right now I just keep it at the back door here. And why I do that is because it's easy for everybody to get to if you need to wash your hands or get some water. But it's basically this water, little valve right here and you squeeze it and you get pressurized water out of it. If it starts to get low, I have the hand pump. I don't know if you can see it right here, but you can pump it up and give it more pressure and then wash your hands, fill something, do whatever you need to do. Um, but let me pull it out of here and I'll show you the whole setup. All right, so this is the Aquamira setup, and basically it's a water bladder. This is a two liter. Um, they do come in one liter or three liter, but I did get a two liter, and um, they did set me up with this one. Gary from Aquamira gave me this to test out. Absolutely love it. They're working through a couple different companies. This one was manufactured by Hydropack, but they're actually looking to manufacture them their own as well because it's kind of their patented idea. Now let me show you how this works. So right now I've got it pressurized, but I'm gonna actually let the pressure out so I can show you how it all works. So you can just let the pressure out by this pressure valve. And what it's doing is, 
is it's emptying all the air out of this half of the bladder, this side of the bladder. And then this side of the bladder is all water. So there isn't air and water mixed together. It's just a, a pressure one right here that expands everything and pushes this one out and makes it go. So you don't really get air a lot in the water, which is great because it just it's two separate systems. So now you just take your top off ahead and fill it it's a lot like other water bladders like you know hydration systems you have this plastic top that seals it and then you can uh, open it up here and you can get to the water and you can just fill it up real easy clean it out turn it inside out to dry it out I've done that too um, so that's pretty nice it's got a nice system for that I usually try to get as much air as I can out of it and then I slide the top compression piece on and it basically is like this and it can set anywhere it can even sit upside down if you wanted it to now this is the bite valve water valve system for it and it is all insulated coated that way but it's a quick release valve and I love having the cover on it to keep it clean um, and a regular bite valve you just have to squeeze it and the pressure will let it out you can certainly just like a normal one like suck out of it but it works better this way I think so you just hook the back one on and you can unhook these and store them in different ways too but and then pressurize it with this ball valve you can see how it's getting nice and tight and I like having this ball valve accessible because it might, once it starts getting emptier, you want to be able to pump it up a little bit more to get a little more pressure out of it. But right now you can see it's massively pressurized, right? It's not leaking or anything. So you take the cap off and you can just drink from it or you can just squirt, wash dishes, wash your hands, whatever it might be. But um, military is using these, which is great because they can use them to like irrigate a wound or something of that nature. I'm just using it for like washing out dirty dishes, washing hands. Um, like I said, right now I have this fed to the back door, but I can just as easily turn them around and feed them right to here. This is such an awesome solution for water on board. It can hang in the back, I've thought about that, but really I've had it upside down all different directions. I had it under the back seat for a while and it worked perfectly fine, pressurized again. Didn't matter which way I pushed it or put it, it just kept pumping it out, which is pretty awesome. One other really cool thing about the pressurized kit by Aquamira is that they make the Frontier Max filter system. And this one is for backcountry, the green one. This is your regular filter system. And then they have one for tap water as well. So maybe you want to use this one because you are getting it from a park and you're not really, I mean, sometimes it's well water, that type of thing. So you use the blue cap. Put it on there and the cool thing is that because they make the actual frontier system and the bladder system they just click right into each other dropped my bite valve click that one in there and then i pressurize it up so you can have the same system you could go ahead and get water from a river and use this for drinking and filter it out that's pretty cool to have this little option of this thing can also be used as a straw the frontier i did a video on this awesome little filter system you can check it out here up here on the right um, and uh, check out all the features on that. But when you put it in in line like this, um, the pressure's a little bit lower. Like remember how it was like shooting out quite a bit, but it only shoots out like that. But it still gives you, the pressure's still important. This pressure's still working. So then it's not that hard to drink from because it's shooting water in and giving a little bit of pressure. These pressurized bladders from Aqua Mirror are absolutely great. I just love them because it's onboard pressurized water, but the fact that I can also hook up a filter, get rid of like well water taste, or if I was really getting it from a river, I could use it as a filter or even bump up to the next filter cartridge that they have, the red one, which takes out viruses and such. So that's nice too, that these filters, you can just carry them. It's not a big kit and you can switch it out depending on what your needs are. So this stuff just stays in the vehicle at all times. Um, in case we run out of water, we can filter our own water. Pretty cool. So these are the solutions that I've come up with for having water on my overland trips or day trips or off-roading trips. And I'm pretty happy with them right now. I thought about getting a larger gallon system somewhere hidden up, but this is really great. Having one that's just storage, that's slim and narrow and can fit right next to the cooler, but I can still pull it out if I really need to and use it at a picnic table. And then this quick washing one that's pressurized. You're, you'd be surprised how much you love having pressurized water. It's such a different thing than just having to pour it out, especially doing dishes and such. Let me know. Do you think this is a good little combo set? Do you have any other ideas? Maybe something I'm not using that would be better. Love to hear it down in the comments down below. Till next time, just remember, life's a hike and hike happy. Have some pressurized water on board. Yeah, baby. Not sure if I said, any, said before, but to depressurize the system, you just push this valve here and it takes the pressure out of the actual pressurized sides of the side of the bladder. So then it's not actually just 
pushing it all the time and, and putting stress on the bladder.